All right, so it's still June 16th. We're back. We need to load this trident up. I've already hooked up our hose. We got the swing arm here. Hooked up the sprayer. Uh, we've got some foliar. So this is a dash system uh, made by fiber. We're still trying to get the hang of it. So far, we're liking it. We got the cage. Put some stuff in there. Steps, yada, yada, yada. Hey, you guys got to figure it out. So anyway, when I like to load, I want to be able to put all my boxes. It's kind of tight up here because we got a lot of chemical on board, but uh, I got to put about eight cases in. So I want to set aside eight cases. If you just pull them off and huck them, pull them off and huck them, pull them off and huck them, don't worry, we'll clean everything up, recycle it. But uh, if you make a mistake in your county and you're like, shoot, did I put in seven cases or did I put in eight cases? And then you go over there and typically, we just started here, but there'll be a gigantic pile of mountain of boxes and jugs and uh, you screwed up because you don't know if you threw one down there or you knew that you threw one down there, but did you throw one down there? Did you throw two down there? So you always wanna have it all set aside. When you take your jugs out, you break them or dump them, whatever way you're gonna do, put them back in, you leave everything on board until you're fully loaded and then take them off the trailer so that way uh, there's no confusion, no mix up. No, this is not fertilizer, but we did use these tanks for fertilizer, liquid fertilizer back in the day. It is water on board. So, on these two big ones, step up here. Um, we put splitters in. These ones we did not. These two small ones, and that one we put a splitter in. This is our little, uh, I like to call it the blender. Okay, yeah, that's the blender. That's for granular. We don't have any granular that we're gonna put in this time, so we're not even gonna use this one. You can use it for liquid too and jugs if you wanna break the jugs, but we don't need that much, so. Uh, so we come off of splitters on our cam handlers. We're big fans of the splitters. Uh, but it's a real toss up. It's a real toss up what's quicker, whether you just dump it on here, and we don't dump it out by the way. We screw the cap out and we just ram it right through the tin foil and let it glug out. Ram it through the tin foil, let it glug out. And then we'll start splitting over here. Um, it's really, it's a, it all kind of depends on your jugs too. Uh, some jugs split easier than others, which makes them quicker to split and rinse and move on. The Assure jugs are really thick plastic and they do not split well. Uh, so you're far better off to rinse them, dump them and rinse them into here versus try to split them. <coughs> Excuse me. So, but in saying that, since we put the splitter on this little uh, spinner here, see that little spinner? Here, I'll show you. It's this one right here. So we basically put a splitter over this, right? Well, this thing goes 100 miles an hour, shoots water like this. That's what it's meant to do, and it goes up as well. Um, in my opinion, for the little bit that I've run in here yet, if you're going to split and you got chemical that's hard to rinse out, a chem handler splitter is better because they have a pipe full of water coming up it rinses better. Uh, these rinse the jug out very well, but when you combine it with a splitter, I would say the cam handler uh, splitter works better. That's just my humble opinion. And uh, yeah, and then you got your handy little wand right here. You can rinse stuff out if you need to, but uh, anyways, I should probably get loading or I'm just never gonna get done. So I'm gonna start working here. So we're loading water. This main valve is for your water. Uh, these valves are to empty out, um, obviously H is for H. S is for the S, yellow S. I like that they're color coordinated and also it spells dash, it's fairly genius. But uh, anyways, so what I'm gonna do is I just spun these caps off. We've got this little bit of tin foil on here. Okay, I'm just gonna move this box out of the way so I can stand around here. And I'm just gonna, okay, hold All right, move it around. We haven't had any issues with the tin foil falling in yet. So the glug that one out, then you grab another one. And then you start uh, rinsing on this one. This is your rinse valve here. I gotta get my gloves on, but I can't video while I'm doing this, so. 
These these uh, jugs break very easy. They're like 2,4-D jugs. Okay, we're good here. Take this one off. Oh yeah. Start rinsing on this one. Start rinsing on this one. Take this one off. Throw it over there. You want to be kind of quick with it. Okay, just just you gotta move on here. Grab this one. Split it. Yep. Start to rinse it. Can't do that yet. These are done. Take these ones off. I need my tripod, but I forgot it. Just like my uh, my big power bank, I forgot that too. See, I told you guys, I can't take more than just my phone. I forget it. So there we go. We didn't lose any of that tin foil. It's still there. Okay. We got some chemical in there. I'm gonna put these ducks back in here. This one's done too. So basically, you can just go ding, 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 ding. And when you finish that one, ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, you guys got the idea. These split and rinse very well. So uh, since it's these jugs, this is probably just a little bit quicker than this. But, you know, you can be doing this and splitting, rinsing, doing this. You can do it all at the same time. It keeps you really busy. And I did bring my tripod so I could show you guys. So that's kind of a sucky deal. But uh, you have to use your imagination, I guess. There, we're gonna try that. I'm just gonna try and lean this thing right up right here. All right.
right, guys, you still with me here? Okay. So all the chemicals in here, let's take it out, shall we? We want A, we want S, we want H. Put a line here, that means it's just sucking out. If I pull it all the way, it's gonna rinse and suck. It is, it's all going down. Let's close these lids. Let's get, get ready for the rinse mode. Let's start rinsing it. You also gotta make sure you don't fill up too fast. We're at 1,500 gallons already. You gotta be careful. You gotta make sure you get all your chemical in. Tuck this stuff down here. Might put one more jug of 24D in. Shut these off, shut our rinses off. Take a look, what does it look like? Huh? Okay, so far so good. Still draining it down. Still draining it down. Awesome. That one's empty. Rinse it down a little bit better here. That was just about empty. Get in there. Okay, this one's good. Turn it off. Perfect, take our wand. See, there's a little bit of white right down there. Wash that off, there it is, done. Rinse this one in here. Awesome, done. Over here. Done. Okay. It's all in, you guys. Put those up there. We're loading full water. That's it. All right. Probably also mentioned that when these ones are done, they're rinse, it does a better rinse job versus the split, especially on this one. A cam handler split would probably do a better job, uh, but this is definitely does the cleanest job if you just uh, drop it in there, let it spin out, it will definitely rinse the jug the best. All right, guys, and just like that, we're done. We're unhooked. Pump shut off. Remember, this thing's run by air as well, so we have an air compressor on board right here. We do have a big uh, uh, air tank that we can mount on here, but we just haven't got around to that yet. So, okay, it's time to get to work. Oh, I should shut my light off. By the way, I do like the light. Awesome feature. I'd probably put more on them. And I think I'd probably put two arms on, one on each side. But uh, anyways, let's get to work. Um, just thinking about the loading, if I was to do it again, I would, that's a plugged run by the way, yes, um, that's, that's what we call a check strip. <laughs> Anyways, um, if I was to do this whole uh, dash system again, I think what I would do is I would put two arms, one on each side of the trailer, and then uh, since there is four of those uh, loading containers, um, I would just go one big one, one small one on with an engine, a pump, self-contained on the right side, and then I would take the other big one and the small one and I put a pump and everything self-contained on this side. So that way I could uh, load two sprayers at the exact same time with two completely different products. Um, now, technically you still could do that out of one pump. You could be mixing up someone else's load like a Sure over here in the FAR2 and then you could be running Octane Trident for your Derm over here uh, in the other two. But if you by accident you accidentally sucked a little bit, just a little bit, if there was any seepage between valves, you would have a catastrophe. You would dump in a grassy chemical for, for lentils into Durham or vice versa, and you would have to just basically dump out two sprayers because you just ruined a lot of chemical and a lot of money. And that is a risk that I am not willing to take. I'm willing to take a lot of risk. I will ride on drills. I will try and wing walk you name it but I will not risk that so uh, <laughs> anyways so I think and the reason why is because there's a sprayer going by right there I think that might be the Apache I'm not sure anyways he's spraying lentils with a shirt so uh, that's a grassy chemical we're just going out there for the grassies and uh, we got other sprayers spraying Odyssey and they're, they got their own self-contained chem handlers and units but uh, so we got a sure we're spraying lentils and derm at the exact same time in the exact same location. It's just how it happened to work out. 
and uh, it would be nice to be able to use one trailer and have two pumps, two arms, two self-contained units, and that way you never have to worry about any cross-contamination. So I think if I was to do it again, that is definitely what I would do, and I'd put a few extra lights up there. Um, yeah, I, I definitely like the system. I think there's just a little bit of room for improvement, so that way it would fit our needs here on our farm uh, a little bit better. But, um, yeah, I like where it's going. So anyways, I'm done with the loading video. So, adios amigos.